Well hello and welcome to Jimmerism Total Notary Channel. Today we will discuss a little more serious topic than we usually do and that is a recent update to Gary's Mod which is an important game on the channel. And what has happened is that uh, during the last update rolled out five days ago um, I think uh, 30th of, 30 of April um, we had a new Garrison update that uh, changes the ELUA uh, and a little other stuff, but most importantly, uh, it introduced a not very popular companion program called Red Shell. And I was completely oblivious to this and the Red Shell con controversy that has been around other games uh, until. Uh, my friend asked me to look into this and now I have looked into this. So I will begin with explaining what Red Shell is. Red Shell is a companion program which tracks users to see what commercial campaigns like Steam Store campaigns and stuff like that and other campaigns if they work. Uh, and this data is then being sent to the developers um, face punch in this case uh, and also to Amazon. Uh, they also have a IP address that's listed uh, there. Uh, in any case uh, this is kind of very much break of privacy and uh, in this video I will also I'll tell you how you can opt out of this uh, and try to block it uh, some other ways too. Uh, but most importantly I think uh, people should speak up. Um, Red Shell has uh, been introduced to other games before and many of those games actually ended up with removing Red Shell um, because it is so unpopular and you can opt out of this, but they don't ask you to, and most people don't even know that this exists. Um, which I feel is a pretty dishonest tactic, and I'm a bit disappointed at the developers of Garry's Mod for putting in Red Shell in Garry's Mod when so many other games have had it. The users were very unhappy, and in many cases it was even removed. One of the other games that also had Red Shell uh, there is Civilization VI and a lot of old fans actually abandoned the entire franchise um, because of the introduction of, of Red Shell. Um, yeah, and like just recently, today, uh, the, <clears throat> the overall rating for Garry's Mod was uh, 95%. It's uh, now suddenly 93%. Um, I'm pro probably continue to drop as long as Red Shell is in here. Um, in any case, we'll look a little bit uh, more into this and how to remove it. So uh, bear with me one second. All right. So how do we opt out of Red Shell or Game Analytics, as it's also called? Well, there is, uh, I don't know how much this works, but uh, this one is the easiest temporary solution, which you can do and probably have to redo a few times. And that is that you go to your, you know, Steam folder, Garry's Mod, Garry's Mod, Bin. And here you find the Analytics DLL. And here you can see it has been changed today. So uh, we can delete this file, but uh, it will not stay deleted very long, I believe. Every time the game updates, it definitely should be there. Uh, so it's a temporary fix, basically. In any case, the next thing we can do is, of course, opt out of Red Shell. And you can opt out of Red Shell here. Um, I'm not 100% sure you can really trust them that you can opt out, but uh, in any case. So what you do is you find your Steam ID, 
And if you don't know your Steam ID, you can just uh, go to uh, um, to your Steam page, and you may have a custom uh, URL. I just put Garry's mod, and then you find information of yourself or anyone else, um, and then you can opt out opt out using this. Um, this Steam ID 64 uh, should be the ID, um, I believe. It's not totally exactly super clear exactly what you want to do. Um, so you want to paste in your Steam ID there and then you can fill in the CAPTCHA, verify and submit. Now uh, it says in-game user ID so I also put in my I put I just put in my custom URL as well, Gmodesm, just that, and opted that out as well to be on the safe side. And then you scroll down here and click web opt out to uh, opt out from the cookies. Uh, and this should at least help. So I put this link in the description, um, the opt out uh, link there. Now um, so what you can do to Yes, oh by the way, uh, your Steam like uh, custom URL or whatever, uh, you can even find your Steam ID there. You just need to uh, surf into Steam, log into your account and click profile and you find stuff, uh, stuff there. Uh, now this is the next step. It's a little bit more heavy. I found this um, on 4chan. Here we also see um, uh, IP addresses that the analytics uh, file is sent sense, um, which one of these is supposed to be Amazon and the other one is supposed to be uh, um, Face Punch, the, the developer of Garry's mod. Uh, you can block these in the firewall. Uh, however, if you do this, um, some other applications uh, like Epic Games Launcher may stop working. I have read on another site. I haven't tried it. Um, I hope that opting out of Red Shell and deleting the analytics file will be enough. But if you're more worried, I, I'll, I'll just block these. I would just block these uh, IPs. I put all the links in the description uh, for you to need. And yeah, so there we have it. Let's hope they get rid of this uh, Red Shell crap game analytics stuff. I. I have I can't really imagine how this can be even allowed with GDPR especially as many users playing Garry's mod and other games are under 18 so it's insane hope they just get rid of red shell but until then these are the ways I have found to as much as possible opt out from red shell using uh, your steam ID and uh, yeah, it's it's insane. In any case, uh, I hope this video has helped you understand what Red Shell uh, or Game Analytics is, and uh, also helped it hopefully to protect your privacy some. Um, this is not really okay. Yeah. In any case, you should speak up tweet to them and uh, share this video to your friends so they also can opt out as this from this as much as possible um, well not a very funny note on this video but it's uh, it's a topic you just you become tired of it's like uh, why but in any case I hope you have a great time <laughs> anyways in other games and I uh, hope Gary Small uh, fixes itself and I'll see you in future videos. This is yours, Jimodesm Total Nodri Channel. Officially signing out. <laughs>